All right, welcome to Beyond Soup, where I put up all sorts of stuff. Today we have another vintage item. This is a Sony SEQ300 7-band graphic equalizer. That means you have seven center points that you could play with, and you could adjust from minus 10 dB all the way up to 10 dB uh, with center points of 60 hertz, 150 hertz, 400 hertz, 1K, 2.5K, 6K, and 14 kilohertz. Uh, so you have plenty of just adjustments here to really tune in or hone in your preferred sound quality. Uh, what you really just need to make sure though is that you don't over equalize anything. So you want to make these fine adjustments um, slowly instead of just cranking uh, one side or the other side with uh, so much EQ. What you can always do is you can always turn on and off the equalization so you can hear the original sound directly from your source and then uh, turn it back on and see what the difference is. So let's do that and um, play with this thing for a quick moment. So let's go ahead and turn this on. I've got it hooked up to my CD player and there it is. And then what's really cool about this unit is it has a 7 band spectrum analyzer. So you can really see the output of each band and you can see the dancing lights up here uh, on the screen. All right, now that we can see that um, both all the sliders are all working here, so let's go ahead and do some quick adjustments. And this, there's the original, and then when it's turned on. You can really compare the sound between uh, the original uh, or direct output from, the ra uh, from your source and the equalization when you're making your adjustments. Anyway, I just really wanted to show you how this unit is functioning. And it's, again, as you can see, you've got your um, nice display here with seven bands of, of um, analyzing or uh, you can see the output. Unit is in uh, good shape with a little bit of a uh, nix on top here. And we'll do some close-ups right now.
So, some really quick um, specs on this unit. You got your frequency response of 20 to 40 kilohertz. You've got a signal to noise ratio of 100 dB. Um, total harmonic distortion of 0.008% with again an adjustment of plus or minus 10 dB. Um, and uh, the size of this thing is 16.9 inches wide, 6.65 uh, or 9, I'm sorry, 9.65 inches deep and 3.1 inches tall. And it's about uh, five pounds. And, um, and it's got a input and output sensitivity of 0.245 millivolts. So that's pretty much it. Again, I wanted to just show you how this unit is functioning. Um, it's got a, a few nicks here and there, but overall it sounds really good. And um, it's in uh, relatively good shape. Anyway, hope you liked that video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And hopefully you'll join the channel that's Beyond Soup, where I put up all sorts of stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.